Oh, what happened? Oh, you meant you passed the test. Congratulations on it. But for a moment, I felt like someone screamed that you passed out or fainted. Fainted? Yes, little kitty. Fainting is pretty common amongst humans. Hey friends, so in today's episode, let me explain this biological phenomenon by answering a head-turning question. Why do we faint? Zoom in! I'm sure most of us must have seen scenes from movies where people faint after hearing some bad news or smelling dirty socks. Even in day-to-day -day life, we often find people passing out due to lack of food or poor health. But what exactly is happening to their bodies during such a moment? Well, to know that, first we need to understand what exactly is fainting. Fainting, medically known as syncope, is a temporary loss of consciousness. It happens because our brain stops receiving enough oxygen-rich blood to continue its daily activities and loses the normal state of being awake and understanding what is happening around us. Now, there are multiple factors behind this loss of consciousness, but the most common reason is a drop in blood pressure due to a strong vasovagal response often triggered by a reaction to something that shocks us. This reflex is named after the vagus nerve which runs from your brain to your heart, lungs and digestive tract. The job of the vagus nerve is to stabilize the blood pressure when we are shocked or frightened which leads to an increase in heart rate shooting up the blood pressure. But sometimes these nerves malfunction and reduce the blood pressure more than normal, leading to a lack of blood supply to our brain, resulting in a brief loss of consciousness or fainting. Besides reacting to the sight of something that scares you, or having an intense emotional reaction, some other triggers can also cause a vasovagal syncope, which includes getting overheated, standing for a long time, intense physical activity, etc. So, it's vital to know the early signs of fainting to avoid making things worse. And what are these signs? Well, if someone is about to faint, they will show symptoms such as dizziness, lightheadedness, paleness, vision changes, fast or irregular heartbeat, sweating and vomiting. And when that happens, immediately stop doing whatever you are involved in and if possible, lie down on the floor. This can help prevent a fainting attack, letting blood get to the brain. And once you feel better, please stand up slowly. But to prevent fainting in the first place, make sure to keep yourself hydrated by drinking plenty of water throughout the day. Also, it's vital to keep your blood circulating by moving around whenever possible, playing outside, doing regular exercise and avoiding sitting in one place for a longer period. And whenever you feel anxious, slowly breathe into a paper bag to stabilize the emotions and blood pressure. Remember my friends, if you've only fainted once, it was brief and the reasons are obvious, then there's usually no need to worry about it. But if it happens regularly, then it's crucial to make an appointment with your doctor. Trivia time! Did you know, compared to younger adults, syncope occurs up to twice as often in adults older than 70 and up to four times as often in adults 
over the age of 80. Also, syncope accounts for 2 to 6 percent of emergency room visits and 4 percent of hospital admissions every year. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, never mind. <laughs>